Under 10 now on the shot clock. Kawhi finds Siakam underneath. Gets the rebound. And the shot clock did not reset. The shot clock did not reset when the basketball touched the rim on the Siakam shot. And Mike Callahan heading over. Bullet pass from. Definitely saw it. It looked like it hit the rim right there. Yep. But the shot clock did not reset. Get another look at his pass from Kawhi Leonard. And strong move. Pascal definitely touched the rim at the yep. bottom. Kawhi Leonard saw the Milwaukee Bucks. Just fell asleep on Pascal Siakam. And good job by the young fella. As he's been so good in the fourth quarter defensively. Able to just go up strong right there. So what should happen here is that there should not be it should not have a shot clock. The shot clock should be taken off. Right. It should be zero. And then they're going to figure out how much time is left. We do know that it's less than 14 seconds left in the game. And so it did touch the rim. Now Giannis Adetokounmpo headed over toward the huddle on the Toronto Raptors at Marcus Saul. Over to Giannis Adetokounmpo. And so Mike Callahan now along with Eric Lewis and David Guthrie. 7.9 on the clock. So it's as I mentioned, the ball did touch the rim. Because of that, the shot clock taken off didn't reset, right? Didn't recalibrate. Right. It went, as we saw there, as the time got stuck at 2.3 on the shot clock. It's now 7.9 remaining in game six. Raptors lead by three. 7.9 seconds remaining in this game six. Got to get to the ball strong. Milwaukee's going to be aggressive. They're going to be reaching. They're going to be grabbing right here. Come to the ball strong. Milwaukee has two timeouts remaining. Raptors with one. Raptors to inbound the ball. Mike Callahan still over to the scorer's table. And everything now is situated. Raptors lead by three. Gasol to inbound it. Lowry, Siakam, Leonard, and Van Vliet.